Good morning, children. In our previous English class, we studied about present and past participles and its uses. Today, we begin with yet another chapter related to it, and that is present and past continuous tense. Now, what is present continuous tense? The sentences that tell us about actions that are taking place at time of speaking are said to be in the present continuous tense. We use is, are, am and the present participle to express this tense. Present continuous tense expresses actions that are going on at the time of speaking. We often use words like now, at this moment and today with this tense. For example, I am doing my homework now. That clearly expresses that I am doing that work at present. Now, let us see the exercise A. Fill in the blanks with the present continuous tense of verbs given in the brackets. Use is, am, are correctly. V dash for the party. The bracket, it's given leave. So, we may write it as V are leaving for the party. Father dash a cake. The verb is bake. So, we write it as Father is baking a cake. To change it to present continuous tense. I dash my cupboard. So, we write it as I am cleaning my cupboard. That means all these actions are being done right now. So, you saw that in all these sentences, we use is, am, are with the present continuous tense of verbs in the bracket. Now, let us see simple present tense. What is simple present tense? Simple present tense expresses actions that are done regularly or as a matter of habit. We often use words like always, every day. Sometimes, generally, usually with this tense. For example, I do my homework every day. So, this is a general sentence and this is done every day. Now, let us look into the next exercise. Fill in the blanks with simple present or present continuous tense of verbs given in the bracket. Our teacher dash us interesting projects. So, we can write it as our teacher gives us interesting projects. It is in simple present tense which means usually our teacher gives us interesting projects. I dash to my friend right now. So, as we read in the rules that we use present continuous tense of verb with now. So, we will write it as, I am talking to my friend right now. The children dash in the hall. So, the children are dancing in the hall. So, in this case, it is in present continuous tense form. But you can also write, the children dance in the hall. Then, the sentence will be in simple present tense. And both the sentences are relevant. Hardly anyone dash a hat nowadays and the verb is wear. We see the use of the word nowadays in the sentence which tells that the action is done regularly as a matter of habit. So, we use simple past tense form of verb and we write it as hardly anyone wears a hat nowadays. Now, sentences that tell us about actions going on at a certain time in the past are said to be in the 
past continuous tense. Till now, children, we have studied about present continuous tense. Now we are going to study about past continuous tense. So the sentences which tell us actions going on at a certain time in the past means that which has already happened are said to be in past continuous tense. We use was, were and the present participle to express this tense. Now let's do the exercise to understand it better. The children dash so lightly and gracefully. So the children were dancing so lightly and gracefully. So here because the word children shows that the noun is in the plural form. So we use were and we change the verb adding ing to it to make it into past continuous tense. The footballer dashed the laces of his boots and the verb is tie. So the footballer is a singular form of noun. So the footballer was tying the lace of his boots. The ants dash all over the food at the picnic and the verb is crawl. So ants, it is a plural form. So we use were. So the ants were crawling all over the food at the picnic. Our team dashed the match. So we were sad. And the verb is lose. So we write our team was losing the match. So we were sad. Now let's look into the next exercise. In this, you have to change the sentences into past continuous tense. In order to change it to past continuous tense, we will use words like yesterday, last year, last night, that day. These words will show that the action has taken place in the past. So now let us see how we can express it in past continuous tense. The gardener plants the flowers. So let us use one of the words. Yesterday, the gardener was planting the flowers. Mr. Blake teaches us computer. So we can write it as last year, Mr. Blake was teaching us computers. I sit at my desk to complete my homework. So you may use any of the words given. You can write it as Last night, I was sitting at my desk to complete my homework. They travel by train from Raukela to Kolkata. A week ago, they were traveling by train from Raukela to Kolkata. Past continuous tense can also be used to express an action that was already taking place when something else happened. Like... Kamal was having dinner when he arrived. Now, we have to complete these sentences to show that while an action was taking place, it was interrupted by a shorter action. Interrupted means stopped for a while. I was watching television when my father entered the room. You can add any words which is relevant to the given sentence, to complete the sentence. Gayatri was writing a letter when she heard a loud noise. I was sleeping when my mother went out. Eric was waiting for us when the bus arrived. Similarly, there are many more sentences. Fill in the answers and complete them. Thank you, children.